So this uh, video is just to show you how you can change the format very quickly in LaTeX, or in this version is Overleaf, but it is LaTeX. And what, what I'm going to show you is uh, Lou Westfall and I wrote a paper. And when we wrote it, we thought we were going to make it in a conference IEEE. So we, we did that. We wrote it in IEEE format, but um, it wasn't the, uh, it turned out that what we needed once we, it was accepted was camera ready. They wanted, they did not want the IEEE format. They wanted what's called the Springer format. So here is our original paper and uh, what you can see here is this double columned. Uh, we presented this in San Francisco in March. Super dense coding step by step and it's two columns and the margins are kind of narrow because that is the IEEE standard. So how this is set up in LaTeX is in the beginning when you're making declarations the first thing is it's called document class and then you put in the um, brackets and then it says curly brace curly brace IEEE transactions that's how it's going to get formatted and um, in most cases, it's already there. We read this uh, line and thought we had to install it, so we did. We've found this on the internet and uh, uploaded it, this file. They call it a class file. Actually, it's not necessary in Overleaf because it already has that file, but it does not have the Springer file. So as you go down, the, the only other thing you have to remember, so this is what you would change, this one line right here, backslash document class IEEE trans. You would change that because that's how you submitted your file to FTC, but now they want Springer. So, okay, um, for the camera ready. So what you do is you go down, the other thing you have to do, you're gonna change that one thing, plus you're gonna add a file on the left-hand side. Um, but the other thing you're going to change is the title um, because when you're doing it in um, IEEE format uh, these formats work differently than you would in the uh, Springer format. And I don't know why it's called Springer except Springer is a publisher. Okay so I just wanted to show you that and um, so we're going to go now to super dense coding step by step in its version for Springer. And I'll show you the difference. Uh, here it is, super dense coding step by step. And now, uh, let's see. You see, it's a different format entirely. A different format entirely. It has wide margins and it's only one column. Only one column. So that's what FTC wants, that format. So what we did, this is all common, is that we were trying to figure out how it worked, but now that I know how it works, I realize all this is unnecessary. Um, when you say document class, wait, wait, I'm, I'm in the wrong place. I'm in svproc.cls. We downloaded that from the internet. We just went to the internet and downloaded it. It, it uh, uploaded just fine. We went to upload right there. So, and you don't need the IEEE. So here we go to the main text. Now, the first line is backslash document class bracket VEC arrow bracket curly brace SVPROC. And that's going to call this package of formatting. 
that's what you have to do to get it to format in camera ready Springer format. All you have to do is replace you put this in instead of that IEEE document class. And then you scroll down to where the uh, um, authors are and you check that they work out right. However, however you're doing it, you might have to go back and forth with Google to get the right instructions to make sure it appears correctly. You just don't want it to say IEEE author, IEEE institute. And that's really all there is to it. And then, um, uh, it will, when you, uh, when you, uh, when you hit refresh, it will come out in the right direction. So, uh, and that it will do, go it immediately. It, it doesn't require, um, this is this is a whole lot of stuff as we were trying to figure out, but that that was the only thing that was necessary to make it um, come out in the IEEE. I, I mean, excuse me, the Springer format.